In the world of Tokamaks, Ito will be a giant, weighing some 23,000 tons and measuring 30 by 30 meters. Its mission? To prove the technical feasibility of fusion power. The Ito machine will be nestled at the core of a seven-story concrete building. Once completed, the passageways of this complex will be chock full of cables, pipes and ducts, all supplying the state-of-the-art superconducting magnets, an orchestra of diagnostic instruments, and the heating systems that inject kinetic energy into the plasma. So there won't be much room for maneuvering. But let's enter and take a closer look. We have just entered the vacuum vessel through one of its 44 ports. Ports allow access for the installation, replacement or repair of in-vessel components and can also host plugs that are fitted with a variety of diagnostic and heating equipment. The vacuum vessel is a double-walled stainless steel container with cooling water circulating between the walls. Its interior surface is clad with 440 blanket modules that provide the physical boundary between the plasma and the vessel structure, contributing to the thermal and nuclear shielding of the vessel directly facing the ultra-hot plasma and designed to cope with large electromagnetic forces. The blanket is arguably one of the most critical and technically challenging components of the ITER machine. At the bottom of the machine sits the diverter, which is literally a giant hoover, albeit a very sophisticated one. Its function is to extract heat and impurities from the plasma. The diverter is made up of 54 cassettes. The heat flux that reaches these components is extremely intense, up to 20 megawatts per square meter. The choice of surface material for the diverter is thus an important one. On the outside of the vacuum vessel, we can take a look at two of ETA's important superconducting magnet systems, the 18 toroidal coils and the six poloidal coils. The 30 by 30 meter cryostat surrounds the vacuum vessel and the superconducting magnets and provides a high vacuum, super cool environment. The stainless steel structure will be the largest vacuum chamber in the world. In a few years from now, this virtual machine will have become a tangible concrete reality, ready to be turned on to prove that fusion as an energy source is a viable option for our future.